Have you ever wondered which type of resistor is most commonly used in electronic circuit boards? Is it the carbon film resistor, the wire wound power resistor or something else? If you guessed thick film surface mount resistors, also known as chip resistors, you are absolutely right. These tiny rectangular components lack traditional wire bleeds and are produced in billions each year. They can be found in almost every mass produced consumer electronic device. Unlike traditional resistors, chip resistors are designed for surface mounting meaning they are soldered directly to the surface of a circuit board instead of through holes. On the top of each chip resistor, you will often see a four-digit number that indicates its resistance value. The first three digits represent the significant figures of the resistance value. The last digit tells you how many zeros to add. For example, 33002 means 330 with two zeros, resulting in 33,000 ohms. 104 means 10 with four zero, resulting in 100,000 ohms or 100 kilo ohms. There are also special cases. If the last digit is R, it represents a decimal point. 10R0 means 10 ohms. If the last two digits are R, the decimal point is placed after the first digit. 1R0 means 1 ohms. Now, if we peel off the epoxy coating of a chip resistor, we can see its internal structure. It consists of a ceramic substrate, usually made of alumina or aluminum oxide, a layer of thick film resistive paste, which includes metal oxide powders, like ruthenium oxide or tantalum nitride. This unique construction makes chip resistors compact, reliable and ideal for high volume electronics production. So next time you see a tiny black rectangle on a circuit board, you'll know exactly what it is and how it works.